In this video, we are going to learn about file lookups. Let's have a look at an example to understand how to use the file lookups. In this case, I have a source data here. And in the preview, you can see here, I have data for the customers. They come from different countries. Say if I want to do a lookup and I want to convert these country names into country codes, I would want to use a lookup. Now this lookup could be any kind of lookup and if I want to store the lookup data inside a file, I'll be using a file lookup. So let's go ahead and uh, drag and drop a file lookup from under transformations onto the designer. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the properties of the file lookup. You can specify where your file is and what kind of file it is. Standard price supports two types that is Microsoft Excel or CSV or any kind of delimited files. So in this case let's uh, keep it as Excel and uh, there, then there are lookup options to so say if the lookup value is not found inside the file but uh, there is a value inside the source in that case what do you do? Then there are a couple of options. The first option is uh, you assign a value and add a warning and then proceed and uh, the values you can add is the source value that is uh, don't change the value you can assign a null value or you can assign any custom value or other option is add error message and don't process that record let's keep the file type as excel and let's move on to the next step and this is where you specify where your file is that contains the data so let's go ahead and point to the file I have uh, a file called file lookup source. This contains the lookup data for my country versus the country code. I click on open and I can go and pick the worksheet. This is the worksheet, first worksheet that contains the data. And uh, first row of the file contains the header. I click on OK. And as you can see here, it has immediately read the layout of the file and it knows that inside the file there are two columns. Let's go ahead and have a look at the file itself. You can go to the right click context menu and click on edit file to actually view the data inside the file. And since it is in Excel, you can see here it opened an Excel and it shows me the data. Uh, so the first row contains the headers, the country and code. And for each country, we have data, for the code. And that's how it is showing us inside the user interface the two columns country and code so now we know that the source has to come from country I go ahead and drag and drop country at the top of country inside the file lookup that means this lookup is going to get data in the country column uh, from the country of the source and uh, it is going to have the corresponding looked up value inside code so if I want to send this code to a destination, this will have the converted value. At this point, I can go ahead and have a preview of the data. You can see here, this is the preview, and for each of the country, it has done the conversion. So for each of the country inside the source, I have a corresponding code value. So that's how a file lookup works inside Centerprise. Thank you for watching this video.